This Filmmaker IQ lesson is sponsored by ICANN, award-winning designer, manufacturer, and distributor of professional video, film, and broadcast production equipment. And by Blackmagic Design, creating the world's highest quality solutions for feature film, post-production, and television broadcast industries. Hi, John Hess from FilmmakerIQ.com, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to create digital slit scan video using Adobe After Effects. If you've watched the other video in this course, you learned that slit scan photography was used extensively at the racetracks to determine the winner in close contests. This is because slit scan photography is a record not of spatial relationships, but of temporal relationships with lines recorded at different times composing the image. Creating these time-shifted images can lead to some bizarre and otherworldly visual effects. But how do we get that look in motion picture? Well, that's where After Effects comes in. And as you'll see in a minute, After Effects is capable of creating some slit scan effects that frankly aren't even possible in the real world. I'll assume you're relatively familiar with the After Effects interface. Even if you're not, stick around, you'll get a sense of what this tool can do because it's really worth learning if you want to play with visual effects. I've dropped in some footage of me doing a very slow walk and twist. This is recorded at 60 frames per second. The slowness of this move has been sped up using After Effects time remapping tool. The purpose of this is to give us as many frames to work with because once we start applying this slit scan effect, we'll need as much temporal resolution as possible to get a smooth result. The effect we'll use to create the slit scan can be found under the effects menu, time, time displacement. In the effects window, we see a few property options. The first is the layer you want to use for your time displacement map. Now this time displacement map is how you want After Effects to assemble the slits in the slit scan effect. I like to create my displacement maps, also called gradient maps, by using Photoshop. So jumping over to Photoshop, I created a file that's the same size as my video and applied a vertical gradient going from black to white. Now what After Effects does is lay the map on top of the footage and examine the displacement map's luminance. All the pixels that are white or brighter than 50% gray are displaced forward in time. All the pixels that are black or darker than 50% gray are displaced backwards in time. If you want to imagine an analog to the real world, think of all the pixels that share the same gray value. This is your slit for the slit scan that moves across the image. A quick note here, it's a good idea to create these displacement maps in 16-bit color, which gives you thousands of levels of gray to work with, rather than the 256 levels of gray with 8-bit color. More gray resolution means you'll have a smoother animation. So back into After Effects we go. Let's make sure we're working in 16-bit color in After Effects, although you can leave it in 8-bit color for speed while you're working and then turn up to 16-bit for the final render. I'll drop my displacement map under the original video and turn off its visibility. Next, I'll select this layer, which I just added, as the time displacement layer in my time displacement effect. The next two settings are the maximum time displacement and the time resolution. The maximum time displacement is how far ahead or behind you want your pixels to be shifted. The resolution is how many frames per second you want to use for your animation. This is where having a lot of frames to work with will help. If you shot in 24p and have fast motion, you would get a lot of banding as there aren't a lot of in-between frames for this effect to work. Now, because I shot in 60p and exaggerated the slowness of the motion, I could speed up later and have a lot of frames to work with to create a smooth result. Just realize the higher you push the time resolution, the harder your computer has to work to calculate the different frames. Give it a quick render or a long render, and there you have it, a traditional slit scan video effect. This is where I see a lot of slit scans tutorials stop, and that's really a shame because We've only just scratched the surface of what you can do with this tool, and in my opinion, the up-down displacement map can yield results that are, well, a little predictable. 
But you're not stuck with just one kind of displacement map. What if you tried a horizontal gradient? Well, this creates some Picasso-esque shots that can look like they're shot from multiple angles. Or how about some swirly gradients for unpredictable results? You can even use this effect to create tears in video by using solid blocks of color instead of gradients. Or even create vortices using swirls and circular gradients. And of course, there's nothing stopping you from animating your displacement maps for even more unpredictable behavior. Now this time displacement effect may not be an everyday tool, but it's a neat way of creating some otherworldly images with sometimes unexpected results. Just remember to shoot as high a frame rate as you can. Keep the motion slow for a smoother effect. Work in 16-bit color and experiment with different kinds of time displacement gradient maps. You may not use it on every film you make, but it's another tool to store in the back of your mind while you're on your quest to make something great. I'm John Hess. I'll see you at filmmakeriq.com.